we're just we're just going to compare what he said in this article on September 3rd to what he said in this article on October 1st. Yeah, I would like to give a little commentary on the second article about you because I wasn't there to do that. The first The first time. one you mean. This one was posted earlier. September 3rd one. Yeah, well, a second is in we're going to be discussing it second. Um Okay. Yeah. All right. So, oh, which Lord. part of this article on October 1st are we highlighting? So, I'll give a little background. This is an article mm. written about the Church of Satanism. And mm. they um, are suing an advertising company for refusing to take their advertisements that were going to be displayed around crisis pregnancy centers in Arkansas and Indiana. Mm. Now, for those who don't know, these are um, very deceptive places often run by uh, Christian organizations that provide um, women with a lot of typically very guilty and shaming um, propaganda to mm -hmm. um, dissuade them from their right to choose um, to have an abortion. And um, so the Church of Satanism wanted to do some advertising around these areas because the Church of Satanism has a religious right to abortions. And so they have an abortion ritual that will serve to um, help women get past all of these loopholes that, or not loopholes, um, all of these obstacles that um, these states enforce to try to dissuade them from have um, getting an abortion. Um, this includes sometimes uh, a lot of being forced to wait waiting periods before you're allowed to do so um lots all of right too much context shorter so, context i want to get to the juicy part <laughs> <laughs> so the church of satanism wanted to provide advertising around these areas to advertise to women that they could um choose to do this rel religious practice if they are a member of the church of satan and they could still receive their abortion that way. So they had four advertisements um, that were rejected by this advertising company that has a monopoly on advertising in those areas. Right. Uh, therefore being denied their right to communication. And um, they're suing for discrimination on those means. So mm. um, can you zoom in so we can take these um, advertisements one by one? Like, let's see. These are the ads that were denied. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to read the sentence before. Before that could happen, though, the Satanists had to submit their designs to Lamar advertising for approval. They ended up submitting four of them. So here are those four. On the left, you see not a cake, cake batter. This is my favorite of the advertisements. I think it's the most effective. Then you see this uh, Church of Satanism logo in the middle. You see not a baby on the right. And uh of an uh sperm connecting with an ovum um then in the middle it says our religious abortion ritual averts many state restrictions because that's what they have the religious right to do mm -hmm. um the second advertisement has two women very 50s style with like a coca-cola and um the woman on the left is saying susan you're telling me i do not have to endure a waiting period when i have an abortion and the woman on the right is saying, that's if you're a Satanist. And then, mm -hmm. again, our religious abortion ritual averts many state restrictions. And then the link to the website. Um, this is where things probably get more controversial. Although, if you're um, deeply pro-life, probably all of them are too. Or provocative, I mean. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one makes me laugh. <laughs> um here Be careful have, not to mention this yes, guy's yes, name, yes, last yes. name. Just mention his first name, okay? Yeah. Okay. So we have a, a kind of an old-fashioned woman holding up what should be a baby, but instead of a baby, it's Adolf. Um, well, it's Mr. an adult Adolf. Yes. Uh, yeah, adult Adolf. Um, right. Mr. H himself. Um, and the caption is, what if abortion had been an option? Hmm. Oh, um, wait, by the way, Chris is saying it's the Satanic Temple, not the Church of Satanism. Is that 
did you say it wrong? You said it right. I don't think I said the truth. Yeah. Though. Yeah, that's what we already said it right. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Um, Go ahead. So, mm -hmm. um, then the last one is just text. Um, do you have more to say on that that third one? With Mr. No, Lee. I mean, okay, so this is what if abortion had been an, an option? Yeah, I mean, the world would be a better place if this was an option, right? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I like this ad, yeah. Mm -hmm. But but here's where it gets, here's where the hypocrisy comes in, right? Yeah, and then uh, the, final, the final ad is just text giving some facts. It says pregnancy complications are the sixth most common cause of death among women between ages... 20 to 34. Mm. Um, so that's just m medical or data. That's just data. And then it says abortion save lives. All right. Here's the hypocrisy coming right in. Okay. Yeah. 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 So you All can right. highlight this whole little mini paragraph. Mm. I love that the top, uh, at the top, that the picture shows a picture of a cake batter with the phrase, not a cake, while the other sh side shows a fertilized egg and the phrase, not a baby. Does the one with Mr. H, Mr. Adolf H, go too far? Maybe. But provocation is part of what makes the satanic temple so effective. But provocation is part of what makes the satanic temple so effective. Hmm. 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 <laughs> when you sent this to me and then you sent that line we were on a call together and my face was like this i was like oh, no you <laughs> didn't <laughs> why are we shocked right now that him at Mehta would say something like that susanna please explain like oh, look at the, the people in the live chat people in the live chat no <laughs> like people are like wow wow <laughs> <laughs> oh, people in the live chat <laughs> are just like oh snap am I, what a hypocrisy hmm. <laughs> people know hmm seem like there's double standard happening here like oh the, where has where have i heard that before yeah exactly exactly <laughs> God. Oh God. Oh my God. Hmm. When you sent this to me, I was like, no. <laughs> All right, look, let's look at which, which which part of this. There we go. I mean, there's like so many things about this article that we could get into. My quick commentary, since I wasn't there when you first did this, is um uh it's so factually wrong on so many different levels. One, the arguments being made are just bad. They're dumb. Um, <laughs> you've done it, boy. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, there are so many. There are so many things that are just. But no, Susanna. But before we actually let's get right to the hypocrisy. We need okay. to show because a lot of people have no idea why we think that's hypocritical, right? So let's highlight this part of oh wait, this part of this article by him at okay. Okay. Um so this is the 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 earlier article one month ago that he wrote, right? So yes. you wanna is it, you wanna read this part? Yes. So the article first starts off with talking about David Wood hmm. eating the Quran on uh, apostate prophets channel and then gives really bad um it says oh he would be so upset if it's it's not good that an evangelical christian did this and um mm. he'd be so upset if a, this happened to a bible he wasn't yeah no yeah so he's <laughs> like oh yeah david wood would be so upset if someone did that to the bible and i yeah. actually did that not to the just the quran no, i did that not just to the quran i did that to the bible as well and david would actually highlighted the video where i did that to the bible I, there were some other christians that were butt hurt but him was wrong about that david wood wasn't upset about that right no. uh but that's an, beside the point i want to point I'm just, to this yeah i'm giving, giving some that context because of the way the sentence yeah. is phrased you have to know what comes before right so he was saying that that happened so right. naturally atheist republics Armin Navabi, who delights in saying provocative things, presumably to get a rise out of everyone, is taking things even further with a new campaign called hashtag desecrate the Quran. Right. And then 
he provides a link to the tweet that Twitter has since removed. <laughs> removed, which is which is actually very interesting because um, after it, the Nuka attacks. Yeah, no, I mean this tweet which desecrated what I desecrated the Quran has been removed by Twitter, right? So and it which which is me basically taking you know desecrating like paper right mm -hmm. not not talking about any group of people in any bad way mm -mm. it's basically me tearing up some paper and spitting on it right you and the fact you that don't even say anything in the video i don't even say anything it's like i have there's zero words right and twitter has removed that which is kind of makes my point for why like look at the situation that we're in where like desecrating pieces of paper actually could get you removed from t uh, Twitter. It, ma it makes it seem like, yeah, this needs to be highlighted. Like the, the, the mm -hmm. standards here, mm -hmm. it doesn't seem to be the fact. So maybe my provocation like was necessary, but here's another line. Should we do one later just because? <laughs> Look, I, at this point, I might lose my Twitter account if I keep doing this, right? Not um, here, but, but the interesting, but the, but it kind of now that like look he's highlighting the tweet and the tweet is not there to me that seemed like yeah i had a point i had a point i was like the response to me desecrating the quran not just by average people and not just by him at meta but also by twitter itself shows that i had a point in in like i'm demonstrating the standards here hold on. read this part hold on let me see um well, he oh, there's so many oh, there's so many things about this article. Oh my god, it just makes my blood boil. Um, the only goal seems to be provocation and getting social media notoriety, not changing anyone's hearts or minds. If that's mm. the case, at least have the guts to admit it. Congratulations, atheists. We have our own Milo. Referring so to the Milo only Minopolis. the only goal seems to be provocation, even though we exactly have um, made it so clear exactly why we do this. Mm -hmm. So he seems, and yet here, but provocation is part of what makes the satanic temple so effective. So effective. So effective. So again, let me read this one more time. The only goal seems to be provocation and getting social media notoriety, not changing anyone's hearts and minds. How could that be? If you think provocation makes makes somebody so effective so maybe the provocation is tool to to changing hearts and minds how how is it that it works for this for the satanic temple but not for me because they're fighting right-wing evangelicals because they're fighting right-wing and uh oh yep so it's tribalism mm-hmm as if, as if as if we don't do that is not well as if we don't do that one and as if right. islam is not a far-right ideology as if again th this gives into people thinking like the woke left is taking it a bit easy on islam mm -hmm. right and he explicitly if, does so in this article explicitly because hmm. he's saying why i'm i'm more concerned um with the christian evangelical right christian authoritarian right um and it's it's yeah. look at here's the sentence right here desecrating a holy book of people who are italicized struggling in many parts of the world rather than criticizing a specific group or specific ideas is just lazy activism yeah lazy activism is you realizing that they're also oppressing like that's a islam is also the oppressor the tool mm -hmm. of the oppressor it's not just a group of people who are being oppressed and when they are being oppressed atheist republic highlights the fact that they're being oppressed in china in india mm -hmm. anywhere mm -hmm. else we do highlight that mm -hmm. but but yeah and also when you say yeah but but it's also that doesn't mean their ideas are not wrong right mm -hmm. that doesn't mean islam is not wrong and that doesn't mean that we need to normalize blasphemy mm -hmm. right and that the fact that your reaction and other people's reaction sh like demonstrates the double standard that is here and our provocation has made that clear and has done its job so his response his hypocrisy and here's the thing when he said up here no for no useful reasons one of the many useful reasons is for us to show this hypocrisy 
Like you are giving <laughs> us one of a, you are you are giving us the useful reason, Hema. Mm -hmm. You are showing your reaction is what we wanted to show because people are saying why not bring on him at Mehta and let him explain the funny thing is when he wrote that article he had reached out to me on uh, other articles that he wrote uh, about stuff that atheist republic was involved with so he had my email but mm -hmm. he said he wrote an article was saying armin did this with no reason even though the, if, there were many videos out there explaining why we do this and even though he had my email and he know how to reach out to me to ask me if i had a reason to uh, to desecrate the quran and he did it so he wrote that article claiming that i had no reason to prov uh, to desecrate the quran while also, he had while he had my email while he had reached out to me before and how he knew that he could drop a line asking me like hey i could do you have a reason that i could include this article and he did it almost as if He's just trying to provoke for only provocation, right? I mean, it, was, uh, it was one of the most it was one of the most uncharitable things I've ever seen, seen from him. Yeah. I mean he's been going he's going more woke recently, so hardcore. Hardcore work. So again, and he's like, you know, Islam is uniquely awful. Like, no, one other thing, what are one other thing that is very awful, him admit that <laughs> is a woke cult that you're more and more like getting sunk into so yeah no islam is not uniquely awful